hello guys welcome to my channel thank you for watching thank you for coming back to watch this particular video again um as you can see today i'm getting water from a well it's a piped water i wanted to show you a different source of water that we have in my land as well in my village last time we got from a borehole this time i wanted to show you something different to show you how rich we are with all these resources we get free water guys we don't pay the no monthly bills um meanwhile this by, by the this water is for drinking first of all this particular first come come this particular side here this can get water either for drinking or for cooking anything that needs clean water straight this side and then um if you want something like for laundry you can as well get from this side there is an open space here you can cook from here Right here, you can get for laundry from here. You can see kids are washing their legs there. Some people even bathe there at night, you know. Young kids, yeah. Um, meanwhile, laundry guys get water from here and they wash from somewhere. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but there's somewhere up there, uh, a raised land up there where people wash and hang their clothes from there. So basically, this is our, our other source of water in this area, guys. Um, it's free, we don't pay. The only thing you have to do is make sure that when it's time to clean we do a routine clean cleaning as a, as a community so the men come and flush the young boys come and flush and then the ladies come around and clean the rubbish here and it's basically maintenance the bills is just maintenance all you have to do is make sure you do the maintenance as the if it's time for maintenance make sure you come and participate as a household and we are good to go and there's a way that I don't know. We are just this cleaned. If it's time for cleaning, trust me, guys, no one hesitates. Eh? Everyone always comes and turns up and it has really made life very easy for us. We keep it clean here. Uh, it's community work together, eh? Isn't it? You know? So, there's nothing like somebody does not clean, so you're not going to get water. It always happens when it's like it's natural. Everyone comes around and cleans. So. And by the way, guys, talking about distance, huh? yeah, for particular, personally, it is a bit far from my place. But there are people who stay around here and they get as well. But even if you stay from far, for as long as you do the maintenance, you come and clean, it's okay. No one is going to stop you from fetching. But if you stay up to, I don't know which, a different village, for as long as you come and participate in cleaning, mm -mm, they will not stop you from fetching. You'll fetch freely. The only thing is make sure if it's time for cleaning, come and clean. And then, yeah, basically, that is just it. So for us, we always come and do laundry here, carry clothes from home, come and wash them from here. We sit somewhere up there, uphill, wait for them to dry from there. So basically, you only go back home with clean clothes, ready to, to put on, because we don't do a lot of iron. <laughs> it just get when it's dry, and then you just wear like that. So guys, I'm done putting water. So how about you pass? You want to see some other things? No. Let's get up. Come this way. Yeah, And guys, this right here, I'm pretty sure you're wondering why I plucked it along the way when I was carving. I'm going to use this to make something that my jerry can is going to sit on before I put it on my head. Guys, in the village, the thing is you have to improvise. There's nothing that is useless in our community. Everything that you see is used for something, at least like this. Basically, yes, generally everyone knows these are feeds for animals, but... As a woman in a village, you guys, you have to be very creative. You have to look for a way of using something more than once, more than twice. I've just improvised something because I didn't carry a cloth that I would probably fold and put on my head. I've just improvised something now. And this is what I'm going to use for carrying my cherry can right on my head, guys. Okay. So here we go. Stop. 
So my guys, we just got some drinking water right here. We are going home. And just by the way, we don't boil. We don't do anything. From the jury can straight to our pot. We make it. And just know you have something ready to quench your thirst, you guys. Fresh from the source. You saw why I got it from underground water. Very clean. Nothing like typhoid nothing like that you guys it's very fresh very healthy it's what we literally we've been growing up on and see we hardly fall sick but these things of typhoid and stuff not when you're in the village trust me because always you have fresh things from the source you're gonna get these typhoid issues when you're probably in town in cities and using tap water or you know that sources of water but in the villages that is one thing i love so much about village everything is fresh like from the source straight you don't get anything like bottled water here <laughs> no 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 you get straight from the source thanks for watching and just in case this happens to be your very first video on my channel please this is actually pride you're welcome to the gang please subscribe share the videos like comment guys i love it so much um and thank you so much for the love as well i'm off home bye bye